Greetings everybody, this is Barry from H&W Machine Repair and today we are going to putting a shim on a gib um, that will also be in our newsletter for this month which is December of 2017. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is this is going to be the x-axis gib and if you look down here you'll see that I'm bottomed way out there. If you come around the other side, I'm so far out you can see the gib sticking out about a half an inch. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to use just a standard scale and I'm just going to go in here to the base of the um, adjusting screw and mark it and look at it. I'm real close to three quarters of an inch in. So my goal is going to be to bring this out three quarters of an inch. So first the step we do is we remove the gib. using my King Tony screwdriver. And out. It wasn't technically bottomed out, but I was pretty close. The slot good. Plotter gib. And that is our gib. So you can see the wear. Let's get a rag and wipe it off and we'll look at it. Do a quick inspection, make sure there's no cracks or anything. Good to see there's good oil on it though. Alright. As you can see, clearly there's wear in here. But again, we are not going to um, be replacing the skid because that would take scraping and fitting and everything else. So to make up the space, we're just going to shim it. So what you will do is you will come all over to your gib and you will mark one inch. And you can do it pretty much anywhere on the gib that you would like. So I take a Sharpie my scale one inch two inch and what we're doing here is going to determine what's the taper of the gib take out my zero to one Meditoya quadra mics which again you can purchase from the web from us all right take it and mark it and I go into the wear area because that's a more accurate and about right in the middle of it. And again, this isn't going to be a perfect number. It's just you don't need to be perfect. So 420. Okay, it's 420 to 405. So there's 15 thousandths wear or 15 thousandths taper in a gib per inch, which is pretty much standard. Um, we want to go three quarters of an inch, so three quarters of the fifteen thousandths is approximately. We'd be about eight thousandths. I have some ten thousand shims, so I'm going to make this with ten thousandths. Okay, we have our piece of ten thousand shim. So what you're going to do is you're going to basically we just trace the gib. So I usually use one edge and as you see I'm leaving a little bit of overhang. I will leave a bit of overhang on both sides because you want to be able to bend it over for a tab. So as you can see, I've traced my pattern for my gib. Now I'm going to use my Weiss scissors, which these are very nice. This is a very nice tool. Um, we, we sell these. We sell these scissors, and they cut ten thousandths without any problem at all. 
I mean, I don't think I'd cut 30,000 for these, but... Okay. Now, when you put a shim on a gib, it always goes on the back non-moving side. You notice our oil groove hole and our oil groove that will have to be put in at the end. This has two of them on it. So, what I do is I take my shim, I hang it over, take my small ball peen hammer, trusty cook. I just want to mark it so that I can. So once you have it marked, I just use a pair of pliers and bend it over at a 90. On each side. This basically is just going to help hold the gib in place. Okay. Next step is we're going to mark our groove where we're going to cut out our um, slot for our um, gib screw. Kind of make a little mark here, mark here. Same thing using your scissors. If you're gonna err, err on a slightly big side of this. Now, take your Dremel tool with a grinding wheel in it. score mark here. there for our groove so that's good now we will check measure for our oil you see the oil slots so just kind of lay it on top and again mark your shim with your sharpie the hole is right there right there to there and then there to there and what you'll want to do is measure with your scale up how far you are, so we are 16. Right here. It's going down, down to here. And then on the same thing here. Once your oil groove is on, kind of stick it on here again, making sure you can see the hole below, which you can on both sides. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to stone it real quick. So, just take your stone, solvent, basically, you just want to get off any high spots. off and we'll put her back in and see uh, 
how it worked. Well, as it turned out, my shim was a tad thick, so I went down to a 7,000 shim. And it worked. Now you can see now we're out there and it cranks well. So you go in, and as you can see, we're out quite a ways from where we were. And that's about it. We're almost flush which is ideally what you want to be. Check your rock, make sure you don't have rock, which is good. And there you go, you have it. We have now installed a shim on a gib. This was for the X-axis of a bridge port. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.